Welcome, witches and wizards. If anyone would like to take part in this Reiki session, um, take the next few uh, moments to relax, get comfortable. I want everyone to begin by engaging your breath. If you can, perfect. Try to make your breath four seconds long, both your inhale and your exhale. Today we are doing a Reiki session on the Justice card. Now as you follow your breath, with every exhale, allow your body to relax, your jaw, your shoulders, your hips, down to your feet and into your arms. Now allow yourself this time for yourself. The justice card represents the heart chakra. It represents the Libra and the air sign. It is the be all and end all of balance. It's the law of cause and effect. Now is the time to take responsibility for your actions. Try to be truthful and honest with the words that come out of your mouth. Don't allow yourself to blame yourself. On external events,
the justice card tells you now is a time to be responsible for all your actions remember what you reap you sow what goes around comes around if this card comes up in a reading and in the present moment you feel wronged by others this card can tell you of a blessing you are owed and yet on the other hand if you have wronged others it can be a warning as a Libra myself my desire for balance rules over me and yes cause and effect are a huge part of the justice card but there's one very simple truth I've never forgotten surrendering to the universe is also a choice let go of the rules and the worries you live by and even if it's only for an hour in your day give yourself some freedom with this mindset you'll be able to watch over as the universe paints freely on the canvas of your life So worry less about the goals of your actions. And always keep in your mind where the overall goal is.
with whatever karma you may have over yourself. Through balance, you'll end up exactly where you need to be. Now slowly move your toes and fingers. And when you are ready, open your eyes and bring your attention back to the room. Thank you very much. So now you're comfortable and starting to relax. We'll finish on this story. The big stone. A wise Zen teacher was walking on a mountain pass with one of his young students. The teacher kept quiet while the student spoke the entire time. After some distance, the two men reached a giant boulder. The teacher inquired softly to the student, there is a big stone, do you consider it to be inside or outside your mind. The student replied confidently, in Zen everything is an objectification of the mind. Therefore, I would say that the stone is certainly within my mind. The teacher smiled. Your head must be very heavy if you are carrying a rock like that in your mind. The two walked the rest of the way in peaceful silence. It was just a story to remind you to let go of the smaller things. You don't need to hold on to it all. And if you do, it will weigh you down and hold you back. Stay kind, stay cute, stay curious, my friends. And I'll see you all very soon.